We're looking at calculating cylinder force. There's two types of forces here. One is the extend force, the other is the retract force. Uh, real similar in calculation. Uh, there's just a slight variation between the two, though. So if we take a look at the first problem, we have a cylinder with a bore diameter of 4 inches and a rod diameter of 1.5 inches it is required to extend against a load of 12,000 pounds. What is the pressure required? Well, pressure is nothing new. We've learned that pressure is force over area. This is our extend force, though. So we're going to denote that with a, a sub E here. So pressure is force over area. And this is the area of the piston. In this case, we're going to use the bore diameter to calculate that. The rod diameter does not come into play when we're calculating the extend. Uh, part of that is because if we take a look at um, what's really happening, if this cylinder is extending in here, okay, the rod's in here and we're extending the cylinder this direction, okay, there's no rod that's affecting the area that could possibly affect the amount of fluid in here. So that's why we don't use it in this scenario. Uh, the first step, we need to calculate the area. Okay, so the area, the piston in this case, uh, stick with our normal equation, pi d squared over 4. So that's going to be pi times 4 squared over 4. And when you calculate all that out, you should roughly get about 12.57 inches squared. Okay, so that's our area. Okay, now, we're just going to plug into this equation here. We know our force, our extend force, is 12,000 pounds, and we now know our area. So we're just going to plug in the pressure to extend. If you want to call that PE, you can, but the pressure we're really looking for here, right? once again, that's our, our extend force over our area of the piston, which um, in this case is 12,000 pounds divided by our area, 12.5 inches squared. And when you calculate that out, you roughly get 20 or 955, and that's uh, pounds per square inch, so 955 PSI. Okay, slight variation on the problem above. We're going to use the same cylinder and the same uh, rod. So we're going to use the 4 and the 1.5. Only now, we're going to calculate the retract. Okay, retract is going to be a little bit different. If we draw this cylinder here, okay, same kind as above. Okay, we got our piston. Now the rod comes into play. Okay, this is where our rod is, and we want to retract. So we're going this direction. All right? What's going to happen now is we have this area that's affected and the area of the rod here that's affected. Okay, so our equation is going to change lightly or slightly for pressure. Pressure now for our force to retract, which we're going to denote as F sub R for retract, is going to be the area of the piston minus the area of the rod. So this area minus this area. Okay, that's going to give us the pressure here. Well, up above we calculated the area of the, the piston here. I'm just going to rewrite it as 12.57 inches squared. If we calculate uh, really quickly the area of the rod, the area of the rod is pi times 1.5 squared divided by 4. That ends up giving us 1.77 inches squared. Always make sure we're in the same units here. All right, uh, we know the retracted force is 700 pounds. Okay, so I can go ahead and plug in right here. This is going to be 700 pounds divided by the area of the piston, which is 12.57 inches squared minus the area of the rod, which is 1.77 inches squared. Okay, make sure we're doing that in our calculator so we don't get any errors. When you calculate this out, you, you get uh, approximately 64.80, and that's 
going to be pounds per square inch again, so I can write that as PSI. All right, so approximately 65 PSI. So if we're looking at this cylinder, okay, for it to extend against a load of 12,000 pounds, that means over here we got 12,000 pounds we're going to be pushing, it takes uh, 955 PSI. If we're going to retract, okay, and we got a load of uh, 700 pounds, it's going to take us approximately 65 PSI. Uh, so there's some basic calculations involving cylinder force for extending and retracting a cylinder.